After two failed raids, Atto Ahmed Hussein, a farmer in the Dodota Wareda region in northern Ethiopia, is not expecting any harvest this season. Hussein is among 10 million Ethiopians faced by the worst drought seen in the country in the last 50 years. In a bid to fit the staggering numbers, the government and the United Nations are seeking 1.4 billion US dollars. As you can see, there is no harvest, even though the land has been plowed. I cannot even sell my cattle and use the money to buy food because they are emaciated and no one will buy them from me. Humanitarian agencies have now launched a 90-day campaign to raise awareness on the urgent need for an additional funding for the drought crisis in Ethiopia. This year I didn't get any harvest because of the drought. We are getting assistance from the government, but this barely allows us to survive because the aid we receive is not enough. Over the course of last year, in many places, it simply didn't rain. Um, now, that obviously had an impact on, on agriculture, um, but also on drinking water. Um, for those in, in areas which are used to accessing shallow drinking water wells, uh, many of them have dried up, which has started to also be a factor in driving displacement. The drought, which has been worsened by the El Niño phenomenon, has left more than 400,000 Ethiopian children suffering from severe malnutrition and a further 1.7 million children and mothers needing treatment for moderate malnutrition. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.